Hi guys, welcome to my tutorial for the Freeform Infinity Scarf. Today I am using Red Heart Super Saver, uh, Bright Stripe is the color. Um, I have two skeins of this because I'm gonna be using a 10 millimeter crochet hook. And I've wound them into balls because it's just easier to work with when you have two that you're working with. So I just did it by hand, but if you have a winder, that's great. You can just wind them up and get them ready. And um, this works really good with two different colors too, but since this has so many colors in it, I'm using two of the same and we'll see the variations we get. I am really just gonna wing this project because I wanna show you guys how to do free form and just kinda go along. So I figured a, um, a infinity scarf was a good project to start with. And I'm just going to put these on the floor. I have a box here for each one so they don't get tangled. And we'll see how that works. <laughs> I'll take up a little bit. And we're just going to start, I'm gonna start with about 50 chains because I think that's a good size for my neck. I like that, but you can measure it and see if you like that. I also like to leave a long tail in case I decide, which most of the time I like to do fringe. So if you just leave a tail, you already have fringe and you don't have to worry about sewing in the end, which is really nice too. So a nice long tail, I'm gonna do a slip knot. And I am going to, I'm just gonna do, this is a really good little tip. I'm gonna chain one, two, three, and about four, let's say. And then I'm going to go back into my first chain, just put my hook right through and grab this chain and continue to chain until I get to my 50. What this does is prevent you from twisting. It's such a great tip for any time you're doing in the round. So I really wanted to share that with you. So I'm going to do, I'm going to pause this and I'm going to do my 50 stitches and then we'll, we'll start from there. Okay. This is 49 and 50. Oh, I'm just gonna pull that right through. And you see you have a nice, maybe a little end here, but you have a nice round that's not twisted when you do that little trick, which I love. So now I'm just going to start playing around and see what happens. So we're gonna, I think I'll start with two stitches, I mean chain two. And that's a double crochet and I'll just double crochet. The first one, I think I'll probably just do a lot of double crochets, but let's see, let's do another one and a third one. So let's chain three. I'm going to make this like a free form, but a pretty easy pattern. Let's chain three. We're going to skip three stitches and then double crochet in the next one. Oh, and I want to tell you I'm wearing my uh, little cute gloves here that I made with the same yarn, so I'm not even using two whole skeins, so we'll see what we, we come up with. And these were made with my knitting machine, so if you guys want a knitting machine pattern, please let me know if you're interested in those. That's a fun little tool also. We're chaining again. I mean, we're double crocheting again. And we'll do one more. And we'll do a chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next stitch. Let's do that again. Chain one, skip one, and double crochet in the next stitch. Let's chain three again. One, two, three. So we'll skip three and then just double crochet in the next stitch. So we'll keep this pretty simple, this row, but you just kind of do whatever you feel like doing. So especially when you're doing in the round, you're not going to have to really count your stitches. You're just going to keep on going. So skip Chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next. Chain one, 
skip one, double crochet in the next. I'm going to move up so my video is in the right position here. Let's chain three again. Two, three, one, two, three, and then double crochet in the next stitch. So I love doing freeform because you can just kind of do whatever you feel. So let's do two more double crochets. And you'll see it's just becoming let's chain one, skip one. So I like to just do that, skip the same amount that you're chaining. So we'll chain three. And I like odd numbers. It seems to just give a nice effect when I do it. But you can do whatever you want. So let's double crochet, we'll double crochet. And do one more. crochet and using two yarns is fun because when it changes color it just makes it really nice too so let's chain three again and one two skip three and we'll double crochet and let's do a couple more double crochets one two and we're getting towards the end here so let's do three chain three one two three skip three and double crochet let's chain one and skip one and double crochet and just to make it easy let's double crochet in this stitch right here oops because I'm pulling it pull 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 and oh, okay gotta make sure you always get those two strands sometimes they'll be tricky for you and then here you are in your last stitch so we're just going to slip stitch into that first chain two and then i just like to pull this tail so you just have a nice round here and it's not twisted or anything like that so okay so for the next round let's just chain three let's do a treble and we'll do a treble in the next stitch. And this first stitch is always a little tricky, so make sure you get that one. And this way, so all you really wanna do is make sure that you have the same amount of stitches around. But even if you missed one, it wouldn't be the end of the world. And that's the thing about freeform is you can kind of, really, it just opens you up to being a little more unstructured with crochet which I really like. So we did three trebles here and let's do a double crochet in the next one. Now, when you get to the open spaces, you have two choices. Sometimes I do it either way where you can go in each stitch or you can go just around it like so. So let's just do a double crochet in there and you'll see it doesn't really matter. It's just how you prefer the look. And we'll do one more. And just one more here. And you'll see you can go in the stitch or around it. And now let's see what we have. I always kind of look forward and say, okay, what do I want to do? And I think I'm going to do another double crochet. 
and then one. Well, I skipped one here, so let's do three. Chain three. One, two, three. So one, two, three. And then in this one, I'm just going to do a single crochet. And this is where it gets fun because now you can really. Let's do another one. And then let's just chain. We have three here. Let's do another three. Chain. Leave a nice open. Let's do a double crochet. Get some more yarn. And a chain and a treble. So we're going to skip and do a treble. So you see, it doesn't really matter. I just do whatever I feel like doing. Let's do another treble right in underneath that stitch. And let's do a double crochet here. Let's chain five. One, two, three, four, five. One, so I'm skipping one, two, three, four, five, and I think I'll just single crochet right here. Let's do another single. another single crochet right here. So sometimes you might have to pull it to see your stitches, which is fine, but you can see by doing the different levels, you get like a nice little arch and this is what gives you the free form design, which is fun. So let's do double crochets in this one. So this is a chain three. So I'm just going to go right around that one, two, Three. See, and then when you start to change colors, it's really fun. <laughs> it's always exciting when you get a new color, isn't it? And I think I will treble in the next one. So I'm hoping that you're just going to follow along and then just kind of go with what you feel like doing and just understanding the concept of this but you can follow along however you want. And then chain one and do another treble here. And then in this one, I'm gonna do three double crochets. Or maybe I'll do a double crochet, a chain one, and another double crochet. So it depends on how open you want it, too. This is a double crochet. And then I'm going to chain one again and do another double crochet. And then we got chain three space here. I'm going to just do three single crochets, two, three. Now, <clears throat> you should, because we started, it's so easy to see where you ended. You can always put a stitch marker if you think you're gonna get confused, but it's really not necessary. So we're gonna just do a double crochet. Let's do chain one two three three chains and then we're going to slip stitch in the top of that first chain three that we did and then you have your second round okay so now we're getting somewhere so we're just going to pull this down and get some more yarn and let's do another you guys can stop here and go on your merry way or keep going with me. <laughs> Let's do 
And we'll do a double here. And then, like I said, here's this stitch that's always hard to see. We'll do another double here. Let's do a chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip one, two, three, four, five. Wait, did I do that? One, two, three, four, five. And then in the sixth, we're gonna single crochet. And then let's do three double crochets in this chain three space. One, two, and three. And I think I will chain one and double crochet. And let's do three more double crochets. Why not? One, two, three. So let's go one, two, three, skip one, two, three, and we will double crochet in the next. <clears throat> and let's do another here. You can see we're getting the different colors and just different pattern. We'll just keep going around and around. And this one, I think I will do single crochets here. One, two, three, four, and five. And let's do one here too. And then, this is what I like to do is you do that and then you do a chain. One, two, three and then skip three one two three and go up to a double crochet then you get a little bit of an angle which is nice let's do one two three and then one two three and then we'll do a treble in this one and you see like i'm not even concerned with any counts or anything that I did before. I'm mean, just going along with whatever I feel like and whatever I, how much open space that I want. Um, it's all depending on how much you like that. And you will see as you go. And you can just keep on doing this all the way around. And this is like I said, if you keep it kind of the same all the way around your doubles and trebles just your basic stitches it's pretty simple let's do chain three and then one two three and chain one skip one and then we'll do let's do just a single crochet right in here one two three and then you know sometimes I'll do it and I don't like it you can just take it out and do a different stitch maybe I'll do an extra one in here just feel how it uh how it's adapting to it if anything's stretching out too much or anything like that so let's just slip stitch this is our first stitch I'm gonna pull that just to show you and then I'm just gonna keep going around the same manner for a few more rows exactly the same thing just changing making some holes and openings and going around and around and around and um, I will show you mine when I'm finished so I'll get back to you. I think I'm gonna do, well, we'll see. I'll let you know how many rows I'm gonna do and how high I want it. You can go as long, high as you want. So I will let you know. Okay. 
Okay, so here's where I left off with you guys, and I did one, two, three, four more rows. The same concept, you can go back and um, rewind the video and repeat what I did already, or just kind of wing it. As long as your stitches are the same around, you'll be fine. And then at the end, I did a row of, I like to end it with a row of double crochet and then a row of single crochet. Um, just to get a nice finished edge on the end. So then we're just going to clip off and then pull that through, right? And we'll sew that in. And now on the bottom edge, we'll just take a book, wrap it around to make our fringe using that same yarn and do a bunch of them. I'll just do a couple here and we'll cut that off. And so this way you have nice even fringe and we'll grab two and I could do every third one and just pull it through and put your fringe right through the end. And then well, here's your tail from the beginning. So we'll just trim that to the same length and we'll continue with our, how much, however much you want around, but it gives this edge a nice finish, finished edge as well. And here is your, you can go longer if you want. Let me get a, um, let me just measure. Hold on. It is, this is about nine inches. And I did 50 stitches, like I said, so it gave me 11, which is fine. I like it. You don't, I don't want it too loose on my neck, but I don't want it tight either. So you can decide if that works for you when you test your first chain, but I think this is a perfect fit and you will see, I'm going to show you how it looks on and when my all, all my fringe is done at the end. So thanks for joining me for this tutorial and I hope you liked it and make sure to subscribe to my channel and give me a like and follow my LM Handmade Boutique. Um, I have more patterns on my Etsy shop and check them out. And thank you. Have a great day.